Donnelly Irwin Telsqui. Good day. My name is Donnelly Irwin. I'm the Indigenous Education Enhancement Teacher here. I would like to welcome you to Imagine High, where students from all over the Chilquaic, Palalt, and Samath territories congregate in community, learning, and fun. We have invited you here today to celebrate and honor Indigenous Peoples Day through the lens of our students' learning. I would like to express our deepest gratitude to the community members who have lent their time, knowledge, and skills to create guides like the First People's Principles of Learning and resources like Being Chilquaic and the Stalo Atlas, of which we have relied on heavily to better know and understand this traditional unceded Stalo territory fed by the Chilliwack, Fraser, Chilliwack and Fraser Rivers, protected by mountainous ancestors where we get to live learn and play here together today. The generosity of Halkamalem language experts, Siamia Teliot, Elizabeth Phillips, and Bibiana Norris, and their work with the artist response team that is making this song and this day possible is incredibly humbling. Lastly, as part of this um, welcome and acknowledgement, I would like to thank the students and these teachers that have contributed to this performance so with that, I will now pass you on to Katie Dempsey and Vivian Zhang, the lead classroom teachers, who will introduce their students and the amazing work that they have done in expressing their learning. Thank you, Imagine students, for your passion and participation. Your work is inspirational. Good morning, and welcome to this space, everyone. We are so excited to have you join us for the celebration of Indigenous Peoples Day. I am Caitlin Dempsey, and this is my teaching partner, Vivian Zhang. We are the teachers from Learning Community 10-1. When we first started planning this project, we had not envisioned that this journey would end up here and being this big and amazing. We knew we wanted to focus on land-based learning, sustainability, and comparing of Indigenous and Western land practices. Many community partners came on board to help bring this project to life. A foundation and vision for a performance was being built by our Indigenous education teacher and administrators with the support of the Indigenous Education Department in collaboration with the artist response team. Our project visions were so aligned with the work of art, it was so beautiful to see how the students' experiences and learning came to life in the song lyrics. We saw how giving these learning experiences a voice through music and lyrics written in English in Halkamalem built engagement and connections. Thank you for sharing your language with us. We also wanted to thank Steve Clegg and Salans, Jaskokale Achalitz and Yekakwias First Nations for providing our students with the opportunity to learn about restoration and the history of land use within our own community. Giving students the chance to actively participate in this type of work really brought the learning to life and allowed students to build an understanding of the role they play in the interconnectedness of ecosystems and the positive impact they can have on the environment and on reconciliation. We are so proud of the work and learning that the students engaged in this semester. We thank you for joining us on our learning journey in celebration of National Indigenous Peoples Day. Thank you. Now I would like to introduce Good Medicine Song. So we have Kevin, Johnny, Lori, or Kevin, Holly, Lori, and Johnny. And I will pass it on to them. Thank you so much for everything you've done with our students. Thank you. RCM, Eilatis, Tumakwat, Ekosakwa'i, the Imagine high the A um Ewis the A Tilum the Kawatum Kast Eatilum to Makwad the Tashomu the Yastahwi Kwet Yashukwa Sai Hat was tell squee to lead Um just good to see everybody. Um my name is 
Hatwis, I uh, come from Chiam First Nation. I'm just going to open up our, our day with a, with a song before we get started. Oh, CM. Oh, 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 Hello, my name is Katura, and I'm here to introduce our first song. The natural world is an exotic, beautiful, and utterly unique place. When experiencing it, we are often overwhelmed by its magnitude and awed by its beauty. But when going about our daily lives, we tend to ignore nature. Allowing it to fade into the background as we feel it has little or no relevance is what is happening at our day-to-day -day lives. But it does. The biosphere, aerosphere, hydrosphere, and geosphere are in a precarious balancing act. It is essential to understand that we as humans initiate many of the changes we see in our environment. The way we live our lives, directly and indirectly, affects the land. Our project focuses on Chilliwack's temperate rainforest and how biodiversity is the base of our ecosystem's diversity and functionality. Hello, I am Percy, and adding to that thought, although sometimes it may not look, at, look like it to the average eye, a lot of our endangered species are endangered due to construction, clear cutting, and climate change. Certain species, such as our beloved barn owls, are endangered in Chilliwack, along with several types of fish, amphibians, and more. Everything that has evolved from our environment was made to create how all of our biodiversity works. And just because these animals are small, the impact they have is big. The forest is like a cake. The certain ingredients make the outcome, and without an ingredient, the cake could fail. Some more endangered species are Oregon spotted frog, western screech owl, western painted turtles, and the salish sucker. And those are just a few. So much is at risk for these species, and it's because of us. Without these species, there is no us. And it's time we start doing good. Uh, 
watershed song.
please imagine high students. Students, you are doing a fantastic job. So hello everyone, thank you again for being here with us today. I'm Vivian Zhang, one of the teachers alongside Ms. Dempsey from Community 10-1. And beside me here is William, and we will be reading statements that will introduce the next song that will be performed. Our actions are severely affecting our environment. With how quickly the climate is changing, organisms can't adapt fast enough to survive. We can help them by creating a friendly environment and taking care of the species within our province. Restoring our land is extremely important. The land cares for us, so we need to care back. The land matters. It needs to be taken care of and helped before we run out of time. Hi, I'm William. We are now going through the biggest changes in our planet's ecosystem since the last ice age. With drier summers and wetter winters, we need to make sure that the ecosystems we are restoring can withstand very wet winters and store that water for the drier summers. That's one of the reasons that at Saylands sites that we are restoring, we are leaving old trees that have fallen on the ground so they can absorb water and release that water in the summers. We are also planting trees that will give shade to plants and animals below, along with placing plants that will absorb nitrogen from the air and store it in the ground, for the plants to grow from. These are just some of the ways we are future-proofing our restoration sites around Saylands and around Chilliwack. And now performing the song, Listen to the Stream, here is our Imagine High's very own rock band students. Thank you. So I'm just going to explain for everybody, the, this is the song that, that uh, we created together. And the very first day we were together here in the theater and the stream restoration students, you shared your learnings and the things that you wanted to c convey about stream restoration. And then we, we went, the Us Good Medicine Songs performers, we went away with Johnny and with your grandmother, Dr. Siamia Teliot, Elizabeth Phillips, who is our spiritual guide for this project and the, the last remaining fluent speaker of Halkamalem. And then we came back and we got together with the rock band and you, we developed the music. So what you're, you're gonna hear this song twice in the concert and this first version is, this is the arrangement that these rock band students have developed. So here is, <coughs> listen to the stream, Hualalam <coughs> Tastatolo.
Introducing the next song. Much of the land on Earth has been drastically changed due to human activity and has affected nature in a massive way. An example of which is greenhouse gases created by burning fuel and industrial processes, among others which trap heat in the atmosphere. Also warming the, also warming the ocean as a result, distributing higher temperature averages to the land, affecting life with strict temperature needs. Another far-reaching effect of human activity relating to land use is threatening pollinators with the use of certain pesticides, changes in land usage, and climate change, which puts hundreds of billions worth of global crop production in great peril. Climate change and warming oceans are not the only danger to ecosystems and biodiversity. Plants and animal air areas are also in danger. In danger. Hi, my name is Xander, uh, and I will be introducing uh, the song. What are we doing to help restore the Ceylon site? Well, invasive species like ivy have been growing up the trees and devouring the native species that grow there. That ivy has been removed from the site so it can no longer harm the other species. The last time our class was at Ceylon's, we, along with some community volunteers, planted over 150 trees, shrubs, and flowers in the area. <sighs> All where those blackberry bushes were, garbage was found around the site and in the soil, so we removed as much garbage as we can find. Thank you very much. So this next song was inspired by a, a statement that your grandmother made, Johnny. Um, she said, the land is lonesome for the language, the Hulkamalem language, which is the upriver, upriver dialect of the Stalo people. And I'm, a, I'm an ally, I'm of European descent, but I'm so lucky and honored to be part of Good Medicine Songs. And that phrase, the land is lonesome from the lang for the language, is a way to bring us closer to the land. Can you talk about that, Johnny? Uh, um, awesome singing by these, by these youth here. Um, touched me, um, just made me feel like how my grandma feels. Um, I could understand that. Because my grandma is our last fluent speaker, the last person born and raised with Halkamalem call, and right from birth in the crib and learning our language and being able to save it all these years and through residential school and still able to be part, a big part of our revitalization of our, our language. And when she, the first time she heard a student say, a swale to her was on the street and here in Chilhoyok. And it made how it made her feel, knowing that her halkamelem kol is still here, it's still alive, and so sitting back and listening to them sing in her language. <laughs> it's 
here, our language is not dead, and it wasn't taken. And so the land is lonesome for the language, and now we're bringing it back. And that's just what this song is about, is, you know, it's, it was lonesome for us, and now we're bringing it, we're speaking it, we're sharing it. And it was I. So you students, when you chose to do this project, you're having such a deep effect on our community. Thank you. Thank you. science teacher for Learning Community 10, and I'm going to be introducing the next song. Stream restoration is an important activity that our class has taken part in this year. 
We have gone out during class time to help our community and learn the importance of restoring local animal habitats, the effect it has on wildlife, the environment, and on us. Creating safe environment is necessary to help heal our ecosystem. We can all do our part to help heal our planet. When settlers came to Canada, they cut down trees and built many things such as houses, stores, dams, and roads. An example is Chilliwack Creek. Chilliwack Creek used to be Chilliwack River. A road was built by the creek that caused dirt and gas to go into the creek and pollute it. The result is toxic to the fish, and we have been working to clear the water. Something stream restoration can do is help with climate change. We now have many floods. We built on top of the wetlands that absorbed the worst of them, and now there is a concrete layer that water has nowhere to go. It is important that we help restore streams to rebuild nature's home and restore balance back to our community. We should work together to rebuild our home. We should not do this only for ourselves, but for the animals, our ecosystem, and for our future generations. Restoring our home should be a top priority to undo our past mistakes and apologize. You can help by volunteering, recycling, and educating yourself and others. Hi, my name is Phoenix, and... Okay, hush, hush, please. Okay. We are calling you to action. There is always help needed at Salands, and you could make your own kind, sorry, climate change activist group and clean up the garbage. There are multiple reasons to help support restoration of natural sites. We need to restore our homes for future generations and ours, otherwise our world will come to an end before we get a chance for a good quality life. Especially from past generations, the trauma they gave to indigenous people, they took away their land, the language, the music, and took away their children. We acknowledge the amount of damage European people have based, I mean, yes, based people have caused them. Now it is time to try and restore the relationship by helping rebuild what we tore down, getting to where we are today. As Greta Thunberg once sent, our, homes on, our house is on fire, and I repeat, our house is on fire. Just want a quick word to mention, this next song is called Chawiyas Huithat, and it means rise up, wake up. And it was inspired back in June of 2021 when the discovery of all those unmarked graves in Kamloops happened. And Johnny, could you speak a little bit about that time and what that meant? Uh, uh, when we got the word of those ch um, children being found, uh, one of them was my uncle, and so, our family got together and we made a trip to Kamloops and we brought our canoe and, and spiritually we, we brought our children home and I say because they were stuck there spiritually. And so during this time and the messages that were coming through to, to the people, you know, from, they say from, from the other side, from the spirit world, was that it's time to rise up. It's time to be together. It's time to work together, and you know to wake up. You know, as as a, all people, to wake up to what's happened, to what's been going on, and to see the truth, and then to rise together and be together. And so a lot of these messages were coming through, and this is how this kind of song came about. We're talking with Holly, and it's like, hey, let's turn this into a song. You know, rise up, wake up. You know, and to, you know, so this is the birth of this song of Chawi Esquith that. And so just to, you know, to remember, to remember those children, to, you know, that brought us all together. You know, if we think about it from, from then to now, all these children being found are bringing our communities a lot closer. Well, you actually quite say. And now we have the world premiere performance of the rock band class from Imagine High performing their arrangement of Chawiyas. So this is a really fabulous occasion. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Rise up, we that wake 
up, we said, we said, wake up, shall we us, rise up, shall we us, shall we us, rise up, we said, wake up, we said, we said, wake up, whoa, yes, and we end, children calling, children calling, Huckle us out, remember us, huckle us out, remember us. Damn, yes, that we end. Children calling, children calling. Chant equal out, we are here. Chant equal out, we are here. Oh, shall we? Rise up, we said, wake up, we said, we said, wake up, shall we us? Rise up, shall we us, shall we us? Rise up, we said, wake up, we said, we said, wake up, oh! Damn, yes, that we had children calling, children calling. The corset, we all belong. The corset, we all belong. Damn, yes, that we had. Children calling, children calling. Allium said, we are strong. Allium said, we are strong. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Renee. I'm excited to perform our song and share our learning publicly. It's great we are sharing our songs publicly because we are young and can encourage this generation to take care of our earth and help people begin to think what they can do to help stop global warming. I hope people honestly listen and help however they can because I don't want to be on my porch 50 years from now explaining to my grandchild what a tree was and how beautiful they were, how fresh the glacier fed water was during long, hearts, long hot summers, that the fables of monarch butterflies they read aren't stories, they were history. Hi, my name is Sam. Our climate and ecosystems have suffered and are still su suffering mainly because of humans and their effect on the world. During our time researching and working at Saylands in Parlor Road, it has really opened my eyes to what has been happening to our land and ecosystems. At Parlor Road, there used to be a lot of trees, but now there are barely any due to the settlers cutting them down to make houses and build roads. With our restoration work, we are trying to transform that area back to what it was before planting trees that can serve, like, planting trees that can survive with the climate getting increasingly warmer over the years. We need to do more. My generation and yours, doing something to help is just an arm's length away. Our salmon, our bears, our trees, our people. The community of BC and Chilliwack, we can create change. So, folks, we're gonna, we're gonna do a reprise of Listen to the Stream. And the words are in your program, and we would love for you to sing with us. And just before we do that, um, singers and musicians, could you echo sing after me? Putting this project together has been quite a process, and there have been some sponsors that have helped to make it possible. So can you just, and you can, you can join in too. We're just going to go, hey yo, hey yo. 
There's a few more things. There's a few more things. We have to say. We have to say. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to our sponsors. Who helped us here today. Who helped us here today. All these years of schooling. All these years of schooling. That means so much to me. That means so much to me. Thank you, school. Thank you, school. District 33. District 33. Higher learning. Higher learning. Right up my alley. Right up my alley. Thank you, university. Thank you, university. Of the Fraser Valley. Of the Fraser Valley. Used oil and antifreeze. Used oil and antifreeze. Made as good as new. Made as good as new. Interchange recycling. Interchange recycling. Many thanks to you. Many thanks to you. Car and bike tires, take them all back. Car and bike tires, take them all back. For playground surfaces and running tracks. For playground surfaces and running tracks. Thank you, tire stewardship. Thank you, tire stewardship. For taking up the slack. For taking up the slack. Thank you, sponsors. Water, you're my dog to come. 
stream where the land to start the lower AM, where AM, the water is Fantastic job of work you have done, students. Huge congratulations. Let's have another round of applause for the Imagine High student. And could we also have a huge round of applause for the Imagine High teachers who have supported their students and made this happen. 